Good morning, students. Welcome to my class. Today we are going to discuss genomics. Previously, we have already discussed the sequencing, genome sequencing, where we have studied four types of sequencing processes. Sequencing, we have studied the Maxim Gilbert method. which is a chemical digestion method then we have discussed uh, Sanger's dideoxy method and we have next Then sequencing. Besides, there are some other methods. Basically, in uh, in the laboratory, after sequencing, we get some graphical representations of the sequences, which are basically called as. Uh, Chromatograms, chromatograms, or chromat files. Chromat files. This looks like in two dimensions, some peaks in colored notations. Here, if you can see like this. The first step is genomics. Whenever we do some assembly, today we are going to discuss assembly of sequences. Assembly. For assembly, now you have to convert this digital, uh, this uh, graphical representation of your sequences to some digital format, where bioinformatics come into the picture. You convert these files to some flat files called as the pasta files sequence 1 and it will be like T, G, T, A, T, C like this now when we do sequencing by shortcut sequencing or Sanger's dioxide method of sequencing or NGS we get lots of reads all these reads come in as flat files. So you will be having suppose 30,000 sequences like this. Suppose this is the genome. This is the genome. You have made some fragments like this using shotgun method you have made into pieces. Made into pieces. Then you make sub six fragments now you do the sequencing and you get some chromatograms like this and you convert these chromatograms into flat files after this all these sequences will represent one pasta or flat files. Now you don't know which one is coming after what. Means if you have to reconstruct the whole genome, you have to put the different clones in different positions. For this, we use a in silico method called as the assembly. For assembly, we are using some softwares. One software which is very prominent used in human genome project is your FRAG. Fra concept. Fred Fra concept. Now, this is a complete package. This actually converts your chromatograms into a flat file. 
this actually does the assembly depending upon overlapping sequences and this concept is for your visual software which is for the graphics now there are other softwares suppose you have got sequences from ABI file system using ABI sequencer then ABI sequences you will get it like this dot abi file this dot abi file which is actually the chromatograms can be converted to a flat file using a software called as press tuner which is already loaded into the abi file systems after this we trim the sequences and see the different quality of your chromatograms using a threshold value threshold of your intensity of fluorescence from different peaks for assembly especially for plant genomes we use one more software which is devised in Clemson University is CAP3 CAP3 most of the genomes nowadays have been assembled using CAP3 and especially when you use a cDNA assembly of assembly of cDNA library we especially use a CAP3 and this freight track concept was used for assembly of human genome it was designed and developed by Professor Phil Green Professor Phil in Washington State University in 1994. Now we come to the assembly. How we do assembly? The concept is you have the zero, you have different fragments. The thing is, as we have already discussed, we do some partial digestion or shotgun fragmentation of your whole genome with multiple copies of the same genome present. Multiple copies in the sample are present. Multiple copies. So what happens when it gets fragmented, all genome doesn't get fragmented in the same place. So, when we get fragments, it's of unequal length from the same space of the genome is represented by multiple fragments. That means, the simple one place of the genome is represented by multiple sequences and all sequences are of unequal length. So, we get we get multiple sequences from one particular region of the genome. But when we do finish our sequencing, we don't know which one is coming after what. For that we use assembly. The assembly simply takes the use of overlapping sequences. What are overlapping sequences? As because same fragment, same region of the genome is represented by multiple copies and those copies are of unequal length, we get representations like this. Suppose there are multiple copies, we take one copy like this, then it will be overlapped with this, this might be overlapped with this, this might be overlapped with this, this might be overlapped with this, 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 like that. So we get a, we get a consensus sequences. Consensus sequences, this whole sequence which represents the 
zero. This process of arranging different segments of sequenced segments of your genome on the basis of overlapping sequences is called as the assembly in genomics. This is assembly. Now you have this and these these sequences which represents one particular region are called as the contigs. Contigs. And when we go for cDNA library sequencing, as it represents cDNA library sequencing, suppose in the genome there are genes somewhere here, here, here. So when we get RNA, it will be mRNA, ribosomal RNA, tRNA genes. And this RNA, especially, we can isolate from the mRNA RNA pool. RNA pool. We can isolate mRNA. This mRNA can be converted into cDNA. First thing cDNA, which is by using reverse transcriptase. This can be converted into double stranded DNA, cDNA, and this can be cloned into vectors like cosmics and all, and it can be slated into 96 well plates for cDNA library preparation, which we have already discussed. This is cDNA library preparation which represents only the express part of the genome. Express part means either a RNA or a normal gene, protein coding gene. And this, when we convert this RNA into cDNA, there are some genes which have one or two copies and the some genes which will have multiple copies, multiple copies of the same RNA. So here in one gene you will get only one cDNA and in some cases you will get 10-15 cDNAs of the same copy of the same part, same gene, 10-15 copies. So when we represent it into a vector you will get one copy here in it will be in 10 copies like that so when we do sequencing you will get for this second thing suppose this suppose this you will have overlapping sequences 10 and it will represent a normal consensus which is representing the gene. Now, in case of this, which has got only one, it will have only one sequences. After assembly, this is called as singleton, singleton, and this is called as the contig. You may be asked the differences between unigen or singleton and contig contigs. I will request all my students to go through this part in genome 4 or 3 T.A. Brown I would like to also give an assignment to see the difference between cDNA library preparation and genomic DNA library preparation. You can consult for this cloning by G. 
gene manipulation by primrose and green moreover we would like to discuss also some other aspects in the next class how do you calculate how do you calculate how do you calculate the size of the library size of a library means what is mean by 10x library what do you mean by 20x library how do you calculate how do you calculate the average insert size of a library suppose in your cna library you have 30000 clones means 30000 wells representing one particular bacteria containing one particular construct now the question is all constructs will not contain equal size of your insert for an insert the thing is you have 30000 clone and you have to find out what is the average size of the inserts what you do you take 10% of the clones means out of 30000 3000 clones and isolate plasmid and isolate the insert and you run it there next class we will discuss that and we can also calculate for a 10x library of a 30 300 mb genome genome with an average back library how much how much clone we will target understood my point i we know that the genome size of a particular organism is 300 mb megabases now we need a 10x library 10x library and we will be using back suppose a particular back factor back p value back 05 which is insert size is around 250 kb now if we take 150 kb average and we have to represent 300 mb and at 10x level we have to prepare how much clones we will have to target how we will actually design our ligation experiments transformation experiments etc in the next class we will discuss that Thank you.